I was selected by the Minnesota Vikings uh, for the uh, Ethnic Minority Scholarship Program. And I was able to fly out to Minnesota and work their summer training camp. Um, working at the training camp was a great experience because I, I was not only was I able to learn different um, like like their big modality machines that they had in their um, rehab um, protocol that they conducted, but I was able to actually perform those on the actual athletes. Because I know like I've, I've heard like there's other universities where they won't allow like the athletic training students to even touch their star athletes, but I was able to do that with you know, professional athletes, so I was like pretty amazed with that. The scholarship not only did involve the, the funding to continue on with your education, but also gave you the opportunity to work a summer training camp, because scholarship is awarded in March, and you get to work the, the training camp of that same year. So the training camp is like in the summer. One of the experiences that, that I thought that was really, really amazing was when I was able to travel to both games. Because I also worked um, all four preseason games. So I was able to travel, uh, last year I was able to travel to Baltimore and to Dallas, Texas. And this year training camp I was able to travel to Indianapolis and to, um, to Houston, Texas. So it was a great experience going through those trips and seeing how, how, it, how it runs, um, going through security checkpoint, all the other stuff. It was, I actually found that to be really in interesting. And I was able to um, showcase, you know, what I was able to do. And therefore that led me to, to do it a second time. And this was my past, you know, this summer, or this past summer was my second time going to the Minnesota Vikings. And um, they also extended that for me to return again um, for next year, for next summer. So um, not only that, but they um, also expressed that they wanted me to, like um, after I graduated with my master's, that they wanted me to, to um, do a seasonal internship with them, which is usually the contract is for two years. So basically, I'll be in Minnesota and working with the, the Minnesota Vikings um, as a seasonal intern, as an athletic training seasonal intern. I was able to, you know, hang out with the players and hang out with other coaches. And one of the coaches, George Stewart, or we call him Coach Stu, he's been working with the NFL for like over 20 years, and. He worked with um, wide receivers like Terrell Owens and other superstars like that. And I remember he came to me, he was talking to me, asking me questions about my culture. And it, it, I felt like pretty good because, you know, a guy that has, you know, coached, you know, high level athletes, you know, sitting down with me during lunch and talking to me and saying, oh yeah, how's, you know, Haitians, you know, and all the other good stuff. And, you know, really like talking to me and I felt, you know, I felt like I was, part of them like I felt like I was really like family like a Minnesota Viking family. My favorite experience up to now will be the hands-on uh, experience that I am applying from learning the information from the classroom setting and applying it to the clinical setting. So like I'm, I'm actually able to work with athletes and applying like the you know, therapeutic modalities and applying you know, therapeutic rehab for them. The advice I would give to a student that wants to come to FIU is, if you like, if you really love sports, if you really want to pursue athletic training, you just gotta have that drive. You know, you gotta have that hard work and dedication because it takes hard work and dedication to become an athletic trainer. Um, you gotta be able to love what you're doing. You gotta be able to, you know, want to help out, you know, injured athletes and want to get them back into playing shape because basically that's what athletic trainers do. Um, it's not just, you know. You know sitting on the sidelines on every Sunday afternoon and being there and watching the game. That's fun too, but you know, another fun part is actually seeing how they were before and how they got hurt and how you helped them get back and seeing them, you know, play again and you can feel like, oh man, I actually, you know, I actually helped out in his ability to come back and play.